What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make dandelion tea three ways. I'm going to show you how to make tea with the flowers, the leaves, and the roots. Dandelion tea has been used for centuries as uh, natural homeopathic remedies for, uh, for liver, digestion, uh, blood pressure, blood sugar, um, just uh, general digestion and uh, overall health. And the Chinese have been using this for a very long time as well, uh, far, lo far longer than, um, than uh, the English have. And so this has been something that societies have been using for, uh, for a health alternative and uh, basically before uh, medicine really uh, was, was modernized, uh, we turned to nature for a lot of those things. And there have been a lot of studies done on the, the anti-inflammatory properties, the anti-cancer properties, and just the overall um, you know, digestive health that can be, uh, that can be uh, brought upon your body with the use of dandelion tea. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make dandelion tea because what I really want to encourage you all to do is get reconnected with food, get reconnected with the, the benefits of the food that grows around us, stuff that we've deemed a weed, stuff that we've uh, kind of cast away and uh, tried to kill for decades as uh, kind of a nuisance plant. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to it, a ton of benefits. And so I want to show you all how to, uh, how to utilize it, how to use it in, uh, in your own cuisine and uh, to really maximize the benefits because now more than ever, now more than ever, I think the anti-inflammatory properties could be a huge benefit. The blood pressure reducing uh, components could be a huge benefit. You know, when you're looking at this, uh, this virus, it's wreaking havoc on the world. It affects people with pre-existing conditions. Many of those pre-existing conditions have been linked to digestive issues. If you have a poor liver function, if you have a poor kidney function, if you have poor digestive health, you're uh, far more likely to have high blood pressure. If you look at, um, you know, inflammation. You're far more likely to have high blood pressure because blood pressure is due to uh, inflammation of the blood vessels. So I'm no doctor. I'm not trying to say that uh, this is going to be a cure-all, but what I'm saying is is that when we're turning to um, and when we're turning to any which way to just look for something to help, uh, sometimes it can be right in front of you and it might not be the end all be all, but it can certainly help. And so that's what I'm gonna do today is just kind of show you how to make dandelion tea. I would encourage you to do your research. Um, there are some interactions that it can have with some, uh, a few drugs. So do your research, um, do your due diligence. Um, I'm not saying uh, go out and drink gallons of it. I'm, uh, I'm simply saying what I'm doing. This is my personal opinion, my personal approach to health. And uh, if you agree with it, great. If not, um, do your research. So as you can see, we've got a ton of dandelions. Now dandelions are uh, the first thing to start flowering in the spring, right next to pretty much like crocuses and, uh, and uh, daffodils and things like that. And so uh, we've got just a whole ton of these dandelions here. Now dandelions are in, uh, they are actually uh, in the, the family of chicory. And so uh, chicory has been used as a coffee substitute for many, many, many years. And uh, the chicory is a mineral miner and it puts on a tap root, a very deep tap root that mines up minerals. So they are, they're rich in iron, they're rich in uh, just other minerals like that that are found in the ground, um, zinc and, uh, and other things like that but you wanna pick a spot that has not been treated with any, um, you know, uh, any chemicals. You don't want any weed killer, you don't want any uh, you know, synthetic fertilizers or anything like that on your lawn. And so um, our yard is pretty clean. That's why we have lots of these dandelions popping up. But you want to make uh, dandelion flower tea, you can either use these dried, dehydrated, or fresh. Um, I prefer fresh because it has the maximum benefits. But um, they are, they're very, very colorful and they're gonna make a very beautiful tea. Yellow is a wonderful color, rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. So uh, really, really, really love fresh dandelion flower tea. So we're gonna throw the flowers in that bowl. And you're gonna need quite a few. To make a, a good batch of dandelion tea, you're going to need at least two cups of flowers. It, it, yeah, it takes quite a few flowers, but the nice thing is that <laughs> they're pretty readily available. All right, so now that we got the dandelion flowers, now we have to get the leaves. The leaves are very simple. So I'm gonna show you what we look for when we're picking leaves. It's very important that you pick the freshest, healthiest looking leaves because those are gonna have the highest uh, nutrient content in them. So uh, let's go get some leaves 
and then the final thing will be some roots. All right, let's go. So like I said, the healthiest leaves are the ones you want. You want leaves that are kind of, uh, they're kind of stocky and, and really low to the ground. You don't want stuff that's overgrown. If it's overgrown, it's gonna have a lot of milk content and that milkiness is what leads to a bitterness. If you pick your, your, uh, your dandelion leaves and they have very little of that, that white milk coming out, you're gonna have a far better product. So um, just pull out the leaves like that. And you'll notice that there are some red dandelions and some white dandelions. I find the flavor doesn't really change from, from variety to variety. Um, you have here some more of your, uh, your more red dandelions here. Here's some nice, beautiful, beautiful red dandelions. Really pretty, oh, I love that red. I don't find the flavor changes all that much. So there we go, there's some beautiful, oh, look at that pink. Look at that pink color, oh, it's beautiful. So, um, you know, just try to get, not get a ton of, <laughs> try to not get a ton of grass in there, but, um, but uh, yeah, you don't need that many leaves to make a glass of dandelion tea. But we're gonna get, um, we're just gonna get those in there. And then, now we're gonna get some roots. That is one beautiful dandelion root. This is what you're looking for. This is not the most uh, common sight. When you're pulling up dandelions, generally you'll get about, I don't know, one inch of root because they generally break. But in early spring, if your soil is soft enough, you can definitely get some, some good quality dandelion roots. I've been collecting for a couple minutes and this is usually, usually what you get, these little stubs. It all counts, I mean, it's all dandelion root, but generally you don't get a nice beautiful tap root like that. All right, so I got my dandelions prepped here. I've got the leaves all washed. I got the flowers all washed. And I got the roots washed and chopped. You wanna chop them to increase the surface area. That just makes the extraction process go a whole lot quicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw these right into this glass Pyrex uh, container here. Because the roots you wanna set for about two hours. This is by far the slowest because it's really more of a tincture. Uh, it's a tincture that you turn into a tea rather than make a tea itself. So this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna take some boiling water and pour this in here. We're gonna let this sit for about uh, two hours before we drink it. And you can dilute it with some, some honey. You can, do, you can dilute it with some honey if you want. You can dilute it with some, uh, some lemon if you want. I really like it with just a little bit of honey. You cannot beat it especially when you're talking about the flowers. So now we're gonna make some flower tea, very simple. Take your cup, take your flowers, and you're going to put your flowers in there like that. Very, very simple. Next is the leaves. Another very simple way, but this is again, kind of in between a tea and a tincture. You wanna, um, you wanna add a lot of leaves because you're, you're really gonna, um, these are really gonna wilt down a ton. So we're gonna put these into a mason jar. And just like that, got all of our leaves packed into our mason jar. And we're gonna be ready to pour boiling water into all three of these. All right, so five minutes has passed, and so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to transfer uh, the dandelion tea into a sieve. I forgot to mention that, that you're gonna to wanna to strain, that you're gonna to wanna to strain out this. So I'm gonna pour this into a sieve, let this drip out, and then you're going to take your dandelion tea, which you can see hopefully just how beautiful and how yellow that is. It's um, just a beautiful yellow color. And you can see even though I washed those dandelion flowers, you still get some, some dirt. That's why I always recommend kind of using a sieve. So absolutely beautiful, just incredible. And then my favorite way to drink it is just with a little splash of some local honey 
kind of kicks down a little bit of that greenness, that earthiness, and you're ready to go. All right, bottoms up. Yeah, it's, it's earthy. It's a little on the bitter side. Um, it, I can see how uh, people would say that it tastes kind of like a, kind of like a, like a wheat coffee. Even the flowers have kind of that bitterness to them, but um, the, the earlier you harvest them, the less bitter they are. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're late to the season, they're gonna be a little bit more bitter, but still, you know, that bitterness is not, it's not off-putting, especially if you, like I said, kind of dilute it down with a little bit of honey. That's kind of the only way that I really like it. I know people drink it straight, and uh, as my grandpa would say, it's what puts hair on your chest. So I don't particularly want a hairy chest in this case because uh, it, it can be very bitter. But with that with that honey, that little splash of honey, it really kicks down that bitterness quite a bit and uh, makes it very tolerable. So you know, for the for the health benefit and the you know the just the um, the properties that it gives uh, to to fight off illnesses and sickness and uh, just increase your overall uh, well-being, it's worth it. A glass a day certainly won't hurt you uh, unless, of course, you have, uh, you know, uh, unless, of course, you're taking certain drugs or you have certain allergies, which I would have to put in there as a disclaimer. But, um, you know, if, if all those check out, you know, a glass a day certainly won't hurt you and uh, really only can help you. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. I hope you guys will try dandelion tea. And let me know in the comments box below if you have tried dandelion tea and your thoughts on it. And let me know which uh, method is your favorite. Do you like the roots, the leaves, or the, uh, the flowers? I personally like the flowers. All right. Grow bigger, go home, everyone. Bye.